Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are having a uh, P5 with us. And guys, uh, like in my ping pong game ball, uh, like the ping pong game second video, you were saying that there were some errors. So uh, today we'll make them again, and uh, we'll see that if we get the correct output. So guys, first to make this. Uh, game what we have to do is we have to make some variables we have to make some variables like for the uh, there will be uh, ball variable two there will be two variable for ball two variable for speed and one will be z score score uh, which we have to display on the screen so for that let's first declare these variables so i'll go like these are five variables so it's now let's declare them so first variable we are having is x ball now what denotes x ball x ball is our x axis of the ball which is going to be displayed so x ball so for this uh, first we have to set up an area Okay, for that area, we'll use math.floor with us. Math.floor. And inside that, we'll write math.random. Random. And we'll make it close like that. And here in it, we will write into multiply by 30 because we have to adjust the canvas size and plus 50. This is the same concept guys for the what we can say for the arrangement of the background. Background in the sense the floor which we are uh, which we are going to see where our output will be displayed we can say like that. So actually, I'm not getting the pen option. I'll show you. So if you can see here, like uh, this uh, whole preview inside the preview. So we are uh, ha we have to design a stage. So for that stage only, we are doing that. Then we have to declare an another variable called y ball. Now for the y, uh, y axis for the ball. So we'll do like the same ball now here we have already you know managed our stage so we'll write uh, the appropriate width what we want not a width but uh, the limit that where uh, like at this much point only the ball should move okay so it should not go uh, behind the stage or preview or can say backdrop so for this we are giving the value then it is where another where another variable called x speed okay x speed is equal to now the speed uh, should be vary between 2 comma 7 okay so it should be varied well uh, 2 comma 7 and the y speed let's copy this and the y speed would be minus 2 to minus 7 okay because there in the y axis there are some uh, backdrops in the backdrop there is something related to minus also now here it is x so it's gonna be minus something like that minus two minus one so it should be vary between so the canvas is if the canvas is minus two to minus seven okay if the canvas is from minus two y axis is minus two to minus seven so the ball should move at that area only and then we have to declare a variable named score okay variable score and we'll set the initial value of the score to 0. Okay. 
and now when we go to function setup the changes uh, will not make any change the change will be this only create canvas 400 to 400 then here in the function draw what we want is i want a background of my color so uh, let me go to the code.org and put a good color so for the color I'll copy this so that others should not say. So we have to take the color in these code only. In the we can also mention some uh, like this. We want this type of code, but I want this. So first, let me write uh, this. Let me copy this code. So I want my canvas of to be this code only. Here I'll this and paste control this now i should do the same here the background color was this see and here i'll copy this okay so it's done now my i want my background color to be this then i want a rectangle pedal okay so rectangular pedal for this first we have to decide a color fill what should i decide now the color it's a random video which i am making because i was getting a lot of comment that uh, this is going wrong you have done changes changed some code so i was just uh, doing like that now let's choose another color so for this paddle i am going to take which color we should take okay i will take this green color okay so i will copy this and i go here and i paste it perfect so i have given the color now we will make a semicolon here and then for the rectangle one we will make a one paddle so for one paddle what we want is the the mouse uh, x like the, it was there were two tags which was mouse y and mouse x so what i'm thinking is like the we we'll only move the uh, paddle in a y axis so for that so we'll take this tag called mouse x because wherever in the x axis wherever the mouse will go it has to the paddle has to go there mouse x and the y axis should be 375 okay then an, uh, its width and length comma 15 these are the common tags uh, these are the common things which we know when we have started p5js.org okay everything is all set now now what we have to do is we have to make some more functions so first we'll make uh, first we'll name the functions then we'll design them guys this code is very easy just follow me so you'll get everything so first we want move first the function is move that the ball should move okay then next function is display that everything which we are performing should display okay then for the ball whatever wait we are making should be display then for this ball we have to make the ball bounce okay then there should be a role there should be a function defining the role for the paddle so these four function we have to design let's see what we can do here so first let's fill a color okay fill a color Okay, so now if you are thinking, what am I doing? So I am, uh, I'll write here, making code, or it will be writing a code. Code. 
for displaying the score so as you know that uh, Yes, yeah, so as you know that this is the type of the code is uh, this type of writing language if we are using two hashes uh, slashes so this is ignored by the compiler so it is not being read by the compiler so it's for our knowledge writing a code for displaying the score value okay so for the score we need to fill a color so again I'll choose a new color so let's go back to code.org now for the fill uh, like for the score i will choose the red color this is a code let's copy it let's paste it okay and now i want a text size for the score like the proper text size which i'll be giving to it is let's uh, take 25 okay so it should be 25 and now what else should be displayed will be in the text tag so we want like the score so it should display score is a must okay then plus Plus the score should also be displayed. Plus the score in the sense, like the score which I am adding. So like uh, if the paddle is touching the ball, so it should update the score. It should update the score that yes, this much value is to be added in the score. So this and its x-axis and y-axis that way it should be displayed. Perfect. Then we are done with all this now we have to design the function so this is very simple okay what we have to do for this functions are first function is function move okay so function move if you have written uh, if you have written here in this uh, small letters so you have to return move also in small letters so i'll write I'm starting this now in function move what I want is x ball like the variable which we have designed named x ball should be equal to the x speed should be plus or equal to what x speed selecting it same will be for y because we have defined everything so now we didn't have to define any thing or any special tag or any special function so this function move is done now what we want is the function bounce like the ball should be bound say ball should bounce function bounce i'll also mention here wait First, I mention here uh, it should be for bouncing ball for bouncing and this should be for the okay, okay, for is also a loop, no. So we have to be careful here for the moving object for the movement. So we are particularly talk talking about both. Okay, we are talking about the ball and a paddle too. So the for the movement of ball and paddle. So, okay, so this condition goes or can say apply for both ball as well as a paddle. So done we are done with this now we have to write the code for the function bounce 
Like the function bound should be if started with if if x ball x ball is smaller than ten is smaller than ten. What do you have to do? Is smaller than ten or is x ball is greater than four hundred minus ten? I am writing this four hundred minus ten. So let me close it here. Let me close it here. So it would be x ball 400 minus 10 then the x speed should be star equal should be equal to minus 1 done so the script for the function bounds is not done till yet but we have made an error it should be like this and uh, what else it is showing some error so it should be this much only no? now uh, this one would be closed after so after is if after it is we have to write the same for the y ball too if the y ball is smaller than 10 smaller than 10 or y ball is greater than 400 minus 10 400 minus 10 again we we'll use this now here and here it would be x speed Oh, sorry not x now here it's y y speed should be star equal to minus i so we have written the same code here too and now here it would be what now it is showing some error yes what if i make more errors? yes so everything is clear now Hmm. Now, function display. So first, let's write out this for us. Function. Now I'll tell you what this function is for. Function is for displaying the ball. Uh, we haven't make ball right right we haven't make any ball so we'll be making it now so it would be fill now let's again back to code go back to code.org wait i have made a mistake here yes now i want my ball to be of yellow color okay so i control i copy this code here so this should be a colorful project <laughs> let's see if it works so we have filled this code now we have to uh, use a semicolon now we have to make a ball we're making a ball we will use ellipse now ellipse should include the x ball and y ball because we have uh, now given everything we have displayed we have given them uh, the we have also defined them so now they should work accordingly y ball comma 20 comma 20 now this is the x axis and y axis so sorry this is the uh, we can say what are these yes these are the length uh, sorry this is the dimensions like uh, what uh, what is the size 
like the size which ellipse is going to be pursuing pursue so this is the size and with this we have done with this also but we have done one mistake or can say this is not compiling that mistake because the everything is going perfect but here we have to mention a function called function display function display and this i remove it i place it here so everything is done without any mistake now the last is left now the last step is left which is the function paddle so guys i am telling you like you have to make them in the order so it's move display bounce and paddle but what i have done is move bounce display and paddle i now i'll be designing for the paddle it's not a big deal okay if you are saying that we have to do line wise line wise so it's not a big deal we can do it in within any order someone was asking me in the comments so i didn't give the reply so it was uh, it is not necessary now we'll make a function for the paddle so we'll display no first function for paddle okay so this is the last and the easiest the code is little bit long but easiest it is this because we have displayed or defined every variable with it every function what he has to pursue so the function paddle b a b d l function paddle now we will write its body so if i'll make this console log a little shorter and this i'll make here if the x ball x ball is greater than mouse x is greater than mouse x then what you have to do so it then oh sorry it's or x ball so x ball is shorter is smaller than mouse x Plus ninety. Here we have defined this plus ninety, and here we have two. We have one comma one close here. Ninety hmm. or the y ball or. Y ball, Y ball is. Wait, 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 wait. Am I doing some mistake here in the code? No. So it's Y ball plus ten is. It's shorter. Is greater or equal? It's greater or equal than three seventy five. Now we want one here, and now we want the we didn't want it, or we or we'll see at the last. If y ball plus ten is greater than three seventy five, then we we'll display it. Then x speed. Is star equal to minus one? This we have defined already. And y speed.
star is equal to minus one. Okay. Now we we'll write a semicolon and score should be added. Score should not stop. So score plus plus. Now what we want here is the two slashes. So everything is perfect now. So starting from here, two brackets, two brackets is ending here. So one is of this, one is of this. And guys, in these, uh, like we didn't have to, we are not noticing, but the braces which we make first is closed at the last and uh, the braces which we have made in the between is ended at the first so this is also a thing which we have to notice so we, everything is ready guys okay now we just have to see that the code works perfect so guys let's run it so it's not starting means there might be an error so it is uncaught reference error score is not defined but we have defined the score here now if you are thinking that it's not my mistake so guys it's my mistake i have written s capital here but here in line number 22 i have not written s capital here as well as in yes we have used no score plus plus here also so we have to correct these we have to correct them so now i'll go back to 22 and i correct here it's score plus plus now everything is perfect because a score was also not uh, you know displaying it was also not displaying the score okay so now if we have got this chance so what i am thinking is that i am not liking this paddle contrast so let me choose a color so i have given a new color i have given this color to the paddle now let's see if a game is properly working now there is no mistake so it should work properly yes it's working so where is a ball i didn't know guys where the ball has gone let's check the code so the code is perfect there is no mistake in the code you can trust this code guys this is perfect now let's again run and uh, wait 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 this is the code which i have written in front of you okay so this is not a uh, that uh, it's not i have not made any changes though i have paused this video two times but uh, you can guys you can trust me i haven't changed the code i'll give the code in the description so you can check the whole code i'm also showing you uh, once slowly this is that code only which i have make you written make you write see guys so you can check this whole code i haven't changed anything now i'll run it so our ball is here back again now let's play it so see it's bouncing and now it is i think it is better than the previous pong previous pong so guys i'll give the link in the description and let's save first so i'll give this link in the description i'll save it to pong 4 so this is the pong game 4 which i have designed today oh man it's it's uh, good one i uh, two i have designed in three i have designed in p5js.org and one in code.org so both in orgs four in orgs so i hope guys you love this video if you did please like and subscribe my channel and guys if you want to text me uh, something like uh, your talk so i can say something you want to share but it's some it, it's a personal kind of a thing like you cannot share with this thing with everyone so you can mail me oh kagi you can mail me i have made an email address 
named as contact dot lakshya addict at the rate gmail dot com and uh, whatever new 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 ideas you are having and you want to share it with me so you can freely go to that gmail like don't go to that mail me anything what you want the next and you can also tell me give some interesting suggestions and ideas that how i can make my videos more interesting and all and i'll surely give the reply for that and guys if you like this video and लाइक like, आपको लगा कि हाँ इस वीडियो में पिछली वाली वीडियो से ज्यादा अच्छा है इस बार का कंटेंट सो गाइज प्लीज 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 लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड बाय गाइज एंड 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 अ कैंपेन वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी आउट ऑन द न्यू ईयर ओके सो स्टेट यून फॉर दैट बाय गाइज